Hello. Been a while. Did he find out Benedicta died? Tell me, who did this, or I'll see you suffer the same fate. The man who delivered, who, who delivered the coffer said, he said Sid paid him. Sid didn't kill anybody, okay? I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him and all his filthy brood. And send every last one of them to hell. Out. No! Yes, yes, my lord. Well, he definitely thinks Sid killed Benedicta. Why did Sid send it here? He doesn't know that Benedicta didn't ever really care about him, though. I mean, we know. That was a lot. That was a freak ton. Ifrit awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as Ignition, a fiery lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the Limit Break gauge. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those for the Phoenix and can be confirmed via the Abilities tab. Limit Break Release Clive's Inner Beast and Semi-Prime into Ifrit by pressing L3 and R3. The gauge fills in battle by taking damage as well as successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi-priming grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard-breaking strikes. Good. So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. Alright, we should arrange an introduction then. Okay, well, everybody with Sid. Hugo, mm, I don't know, man. Let's not get too attached in case if everybody dies. <laughs> Ooh, red icons. What does that mean? The Imperial Province of Rosaria. Yeah, the western reaches of Storm. Annabella Lesage, once Duchess of Rosaria, now Empress of San Breck, was granted stewardship of her former home and the title of Viserain a role she embraced with sadistic relish, enacting a regime of crippling taxation and constant surveillance, along with renewed persecution of the bearer population. Why is she like this? Like, we know she's evil, but why is she like this? She already had it all. She was already the Duchess. Why? Oh, God. East Pool, hamlet located in the eastern part of the imperial province of Rosaria, once surrounded by fertile farmland, but the southward creep of the Blight eventually drove out most of the inhabitants. Claude Rosfield, Imperial bearer turned deserter. He and his childhood friend Jill journeyed to their homeland of Rosaria to learn the truth of the events that shaped their histories. Their path takes them through the village of Eastpool, where they meet with Hannah Murdoch, wife of the late Lord Commander. She presents Clive with a set of clothes that once belonged to his father. We go back. 
We just go straight back. Okay. Wow, we're like completely out on potions. Effort channeled. Oh! Oh, but I was waiting for this one. Oh, these are Phoenix abilities, though. Yeah, they're fire, but they're Phoenix. Now we have Ifrit abilities. Limit break. I already have it, right? The first level. Will of the Wikes. Summon a storm of fireballs that circle about Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. Wow! Ignition. Attack while charging, inflicting multiple hits and forcing the enemy back. Can be used midair. Oh, I really want to wait for this one. We're so close. We're really close. Let's wait a little bit, alright? Hopefully everything is still as we've left it. In East Pool. Oh, thank you for the potions. I gotta stock up again. I wonder if there's fish in the ocean, if that's affected by the blight as well. Hmm? Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about the village. Okay, nothing's on fire. As far as I can see. Come on. <sighs> Why? What happened here? Imperials. Imperials. You'll pay for this. But why? Because they're harboring bearers. What are you doing here? Remember our orders? No survivors. Who would order such a thing? Stupid. <laughs> Come get it. Who tipped them off that there were bearers here? In this case, I'm actually kind of worried about Martha, too. Wherever the leakage of information came from. Yeah, I got Limber Break. But I'll save it for the next one, maybe. Is everyone gone? Even the old man? Lady Hannah? Thought you could escape us, did you, Brandit? You were born a slave, and you'll die one! Oh, shut the hell up. The Ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They were innocent people! Ducal dogs? I'll show you what a Ducal dog looks like when they bite. The limit break doesn't last for very long. But we do get it back pretty quickly. Look, we already have one bar. Can we activate it on one bar? I assume so. Oh, come on. Jill, you alright? I want to get some new skills too. But so far these have been pretty convenient. You little... No. Gotta get this mage guy first. Oh, there's so many of them though. That's it. We good? This is something we can activate pretty readily. Don't have to uh, be worried about wasting it. Wasted it all on the one guy. Oh, 
Oh, right, we can do a small magic blast after the melee. Get out of my face! That's enough. <laughs> this is supposed to be an imperial province. And they just came here and killed everybody in the village. These are your subjects. These are your subjects. Just goes to show they don't really think that way. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! What is wrong with my mother, seriously? Did she hit her head as a kid? Why? Clive. I know. It can wait. Oh. We're good. Oh. Multiple hits. Yikes. Probably shouldn't have tanked that one. Oh, oh I thought I had Heat Wave, but I don't. It was on cooldown. I'm actually getting hit like crazy here. All right. Oh no, did I do it too early? I guess I did. My wounds, boy. A little help. Oh, I hate that I keep getting attacked by this dude. I can't dodge any of them. I'm too damn slow. Get him, get him! Go closer. A little help. Thank God, finally. I think we can just keep activating this, really. But it goes away really fast. If I get hit once, I basically guaranteed get hit the second time as well. Get out of here. Lady Hannah. I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Late. Gav. Clive. Does that mean Martha's okay at least? 
Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harbouring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. Why were they even married? But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Why hate bearers this much? Okay, you can... Even if they were harboring bearers... Oh. Now, rats. Lead me to your nest. Oh, no. Lord Kutger's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> bearers are... Even if you think about them as slaves... Like, they're a utility. You just destroyed a whole bunch of your own resources. Why? For the sake of destroying it. A once proud village all but abandoned following the heartless slaughter of her people. Why? Why? We go back. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. What do you know? We're back here again. Yes? What? Hello, Karen. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. No new upgrades, but I would love to have some potions. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better Get some of these, too. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Yeah. And then last time I checked, I could get a gold work sash here. Oh, never mind. My median cross is better now. Never mind. Finished, are ya? Okay. Oh, dear. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. What do you suppose it could be? So this is glowing the same way all the stuff in the runes were glowing. Clive, was it? Yes, yes it was. Petals turned up to the sun The rose feels not his shade Soaking tears of blood Tonight his oath is <sighs> To my our mother And to those who might have been It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive it wasn't so long ago us old hands were rattling about the place like peas in a bucket. It's only a matter of time until they find this place, I think. I mean, we kind of know already. I'll fetch you a bowl of brown. We know, because that guy's following us. 
He'll find us. I heard you lost someone in Eastbourne. I'm sorry. If there's anything you need, just say the word. I lost a lot of people. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. <laughs> Never knew Dung had so many uses. If you want to help, learn your letters. Easy for him to say. We all start somewhere. Have you come for a tale? <sighs> I think we have a lot of new stuff. We got new clothes since the last time I saw you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Why are the dots red now? They weren't red before. The Purge of Eastpool. The Purge was a brutal attack on the Rosarian village of Eastpool in 873. Annabella Lesage, Holy Empress of Sambrek and Viserain of Rosaria, ordered that all bearers being harbored by the villagers be slaughtered, along with those ducal loyalists who had given them shelter. In the ensuing massacre, Eastpool's population was effectively decimated, and ultimately the village was abandoned. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Death. Oh, red. No, it's just red now. Oh, maybe red because the Ifrit Awakening? Hannah is Rodney's wife. Murdoch was the Lord Commander. Since her marriage, she resided in the Murdoch Manor in Eastpool, remaining there even after her husband's death at Phoenix Gate. Alas, her time was also to be cut short at the hands of the villainous servants of Empress Annabella. It's almost cartoonishly evil right now. They're just killing people for the sake of killing people, really. The, Viserate, the Vice Regency. After the incorporation of Rosaria into the Empire, Emperor Sylvester, first time I've heard that name, elected not to rule the new province directly, but to make it a Vice Regency of the Rosalith as its provincial capital. Never even made it there yet. Eastpool. The majority of the population was wiped out in a culling of bearers ordered by the Empress. And the village is now abandoned and in ruins. Ducal Loyalists. Those who remain allegiance to the late Archduke Elwyn and work for the revival of the fallen Duchy of Rosaria. Is that so? Okay, so they were actively for the Archduke coming back. Is it a crime to talk about wanting that again? Probably. After Rosaria was incorporated into the Empire, most swore loyalty to their new vice reign. Vice reign? The Empress Annabella, even more converting after they saw how those who refused to change their allegiances were persecuted. This persecution was to only grow, culminating in the burning of Eastpool by Imperial troops on the pretext that their reluctance to surrender Rosalith's sparrows to the constabulary proved their disloyalty to the Holy Throne. The term had a different meaning in the time before the Imperial occupation. Rosaria was founded by the union of several small independent nations, each led by its own noble house. These houses remained powerful even after the unification, sometimes leading to friction between the loyalists who argued for the Archduke's ultimate authority and the separatists who pushed for a return to autonomy. No need to think about any of this any longer. It won't let me leave. What's going on? Yeah, I think we read this one already. My dad, known not only for his inspiring leadership and skill with a blade, but his disapproval of mistreatments of bearers. His legacy lives on in all those who oppose imperial rule in what remains of Rosaria. How could my dad be such a paragon of justice and also be married to my mom who is cartoonishly evil? It's just... Uh, probably some kind of a political marriage. I don't know where my mom's from originally. Ancient mural. A wall painting found in the depths of the apoditory under Phoenix Gate. Who created it? And for what purpose is unknown, but the celestial being in the center suggests some connection to a long-lost religion. Some fallen stuff? Hugo Kupka? Kupka's awakening as a dominant of the Icon Titan thrust him into the forefront of Dalmechian politics, winning him influence over both the Republic's armies and its policymaking, as well as a personal fortune. His greatest treasure, however, was always Benedicta Harmon. So when a servant of Walud informed him that his love had been slain by Sid, his fury toward the outlaw and his allies knew no bounds. Oh, I thought that box, that box, they were saying that Sid sent the box. No. Maybe some spy saw that Sid was there. 
Yeah, it doesn't make sense that Sib would tell Hugo about it. You loved Benedicta! I'm sorry, but she never even loved you. Sorry, man. I'm so curious, why did the dot change colors? <laughs> Bearers also are... Yeah, they suffer from petrification, the crystal's curse. Gradually turning to stone over a lifetime of channeling ether for others. Branded soldier. Most follow their orders, turning steadily to stone with each draw on the aether. To lose one's life to the curse of being lauded as a hero's death. Echoes. Strange clockwork constructs often encountered in fallen ruins. The question of whether or not they are truly alive is open to debate, as they do not appear to require water, nor do they feed on the flesh of their victims as beasts do, and seemingly exist solely to protect their habitat from intruders. All echoes are encased in protective plating that is made from the same material as the ruins, and thus cannot be destroyed, though repeated blows will cause individual plates to this lodge, eventually causing the entire construct to collapse on itself. It seems more like technology, not an alive thing. Ultima's thralls? Oh god. Twisted glowing blue creatures that awaited Clive and Jill deep within Phoenix Gate to try to prevent them from gaining the innermost recesses of the apothecary. You're not telling me anything though. Ultima? Ultima? Okay, that entry said nothing. This said nothing. Tell me more. Twisted glowing blue creatures. These are alive. More alive than those echoes. It's it for now. What? It's not in the bestiary? Because I guess they are kind of mysterious. Rama. Warden of Thunder, whose power most lately awakened within Sidolfa's Telamon. The icon is known the realm over as a symbol of judgment, no doubt inspired by its sage mien and the scepter with which it summons its leaven bolts. Folklore has it that not only are dominants of Rama blessed with the command of lightning, they are also granted a deeper understanding of the true nature of the world. Actually, it sort of makes sense. Sid is very much for fighting for the people. Because he can see the injustices. Okay, how many do we know now? One, two, Ifrit Phoenix. But these are the same. The same fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we know one more in the middle here? Titan, Warden of Earth, Hugo Kupka. He takes the form of a stone-skinned giant whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the peoples of the Dalmachian deserts, the recipient of his strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. They roughly... Yeah, it's not that each empire has a um, icon, it's that... Probably civilizations built around peoples where icons go into the dominance. A certain family line tends to have a dominant, so civilizations get built around that, as opposed to the other way around. Bahamut, Warden of Light, whose power dwells within Dion Lesage. Yeah, wow, my mom even took their last name. Prince of Sambrek. So technically, Dion and I are, what, stepbrothers now? Ew. Technically, I'm still a prince. I'm a prince of the Empress. In the Holy Empire, the Gregorian faithful hold dragons to be sacred creatures, and Bahamut, the most sacred of them all. Because of this, as well as the protection it grants them, the icon is loved and revered by the Imperial populace. Makes them seem like they're on the side of justice, even though Dion himself is not very... he seems more like a baddie. Odin, the Warden of Darkness, who rides in the battle atop his spectral steed, and whose black blade is said to be sharp enough to split the very seas in twain. His latest dominant, Barnabas of Willowed. Anything especially interesting here? Iron Giants. Iron Giants is under bestiary, but the other stuff, the Echoes and the um, Ultima Thralls were mysteries of the realm. Oversized suits of armor animated by lost fallen magics. Deceptively swift, despite their size, they wield both sword and shield skillfully and effectively, while the otherworldly plate which surrounds their vulnerable cores provide them with a nigh impenetrable defense. Stolasses. Owls capable of transmitting the thoughts of others, specifically those with whom they are attuned. In response to an ancient incantation, 
Their lithified third eyes store these thoughts in the form of ether, allowing them to be passed on as and when needed, though only to the intended recipient. Salasas are mainly kept by royals, nobles, and other figures of authority for the purpose of sending secret or urgent messages, and are seldom available to common folk. My dad used one on the Night of Flames, and then Sid has one, I think? The incantation, Omiya lost Ellen, to Isag Elif, can be loosely translated as, My will is now thy burden, ne'er cleft our bond shall be. Basically magical owls. Okay, things are horrible. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. But we gotta move on. <laughs> Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? To Hi, our it? friends, I know. You could and to those who might have been. Stew, I suppose. Probably some corner of the world right now where we're not looking. Bearer is suffering. It's always going to be the case. Oh, hi, Jill. We can keep running, or we can walk through this door. Let's go. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? No. I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse. Or oh, whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. That's the spirit. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death, that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end. Never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then. With a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. Or a flam. And pay a visit to Mother. I imagine Sid came to a similar conclusion after... Perhaps killing a whole bunch of people, and then realizing, well, I would like to atone for that. It's horrible, but I want to um, do something to change that. White Worm Lair, the Council of Elders. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Cheers! Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Sylvester? Your 
Radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Well, I don't think The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sand Breck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. During a blight. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Put it all on Grieger, why don't you? There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. He gives the order. They all have to do it. They don't even consider rejecting it. Weirdly enough, this guy is not the dominant. It's his son. Is my mom here? Or in Rosalith? Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orther. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. He sits on a nice throne, deep in the capital. Everyone else fights for him. <sighs> I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? What? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. The Blight? We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. Oh! As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, 
Nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Those in power? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? We gotta break the system at its core. The foundations. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <sighs> Jill, you're joining us too, right? What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You didn't really... I, you're coming with me, right? So I guess you didn't need to stab down your own sword? If everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals was a lie, then what else might we have been deceived about? Everything. I'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit. It's a long walk to Oriflam. I wouldn't want you keeling over on the way. It makes sense. Yeah, if a small crystal draws from ambient ether, then the mother crystals draw even more ether from the surroundings, and that's why we're having blight problems. But then we're also so dependent on magic that how do we... We can't stop using magic. Are you saying that if we stop using magic? No, because the crystals inherently draw ether. Whether or not we use the mother crystal, it's going to keep doing that still anyway. Though the people of Alistia rely on the crystal mine from these mountains in their everyday lives and flock to the ether-rich lands around them in pursuit of their blessing, Sid posits that it is in fact the mother crystals and their ability to draw ether from the earth that is the reason for the Deadlands' advance. The few who learn this truth are hunted down by those in positions of power, those whose power rests on their control of this crucial resource. That is an astonishing discovery. Frankly, a scary one. That I, I don't even know how to solve that problem. Hi. There's work enough here for a hundred, and not nearly enough able bodies to see it all done. The hideaway is lucky to have you and Jill. We'll get to work. We're low on gig and toad oil and curial greens. Should I put an order in with Lady Karen? Troubled soul. Guess we should help out the hideout for a bit. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick breath. Yeah, feel free. Wanted to send a message, most likely. But did she have to go so far? What did she do? The reports from Eastpool are disturbing. We knew the Vicereen had no love for her subjects, but to order the slaughter of an entire village. Just kill everybody with a marking on their face at this point. Why even bother? Love your name, by the way. Curse Breaker, Captain. Let's break this curse together. It's all gone. The letter. No, 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 no. Oh, please, no. You've lost a letter. 
Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. What if I scour the places? Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. <laughs> I trust you can find your way to Gotan's Bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I got it. I'm sure he doesn't. <laughs> Go make the dominant do all this stuff, why don't we? Sure, sure. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. In the main hall. What's happened this time? It's me. What happened? Is everything all right? No. No, it's not. What happened? How's the research going? Now, my research can continue apace. And when my fertilizer is complete, the furrows will need expanding. <laughs> Bahamil will not bow to the plight. Come by again when we've grown some fruit worth eating, and I'll see that you get some. Sounds good. Where is the Moogle? I feel like it must have moved somewhere else. Nectar? Nectar the Bold? Where are you, mister? Fellow back there is an intelligencer tasked with tracking down Sid. Got separated from his unit and left for dead till his target found him and brought him back here. Half wish he'd left him there. Dude sitting right here? Hmm. The Smith have anything? Oh hey, nectar! <clears throat> Blah, careful you don't set that breath alike, Koopo! Oh, okay, thanks. Make it quick. What's saying for you, dear? Flame tongue. With a tongue of flame spake he the words of destruction. It's better than what I have. Storm cry plus fire shard plus meteorite. Should last you a good while. Mm-hmm. But the Invictus. It's better than the Invictus? I guess so. Don't really need any of these things. Can I reinforce? Nope, not the new one. Oh, flame tongue? No, that's crafting, never mind. Wolfskin sash. No, we got good stuff now. We don't exactly need all this stuff anymore. Anything else? Somebody out here needs help. He's never this late. I can't help but fear the worst. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. 
You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? Of a coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then might I ask a favour of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I can't guarantee I'll find him, but I can keep a lookout. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Even if we didn't have the issue with money, though, it's very difficult to stay in the hideaway forever. That's not being free. That's We're just hiding away. Yeah, we're still a long, long way from actually being free. Alrighty, let's, let's get out of here. Lost Wing? And Orabel Downs again. Orabel Downs for the Courier's backpack stuff. Letter of a Sid. Okay, they're kind of nearby. All pointed out for me. Naturally. The Courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. It's right here. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. By the way, in case if anybody wondered, I don't think it's possible to change off any of the HUD stuff. Yeah, a lot of Sony games like God of War, Horizon tend to let you do that. And it makes it... I feel like I personally prefer turning off like 90% of it. Just keeping some of it on the screen to make it more immersive, but not an option here, unfortunately. And I can, I can check again. More of the lost supplies. Yeah, like, we're not even actually looking for it. We're just looking at a marker, really. Let me just make sure I'm not spouting random bullcrap here. I don't think it's possible, though. Camera settings. Yeah... No. Oh. Oh, I never looked at the pre-order stuff. Ah, oh, I don't know how to say this. Ketchi? Charm. A good luck charm modeled after the front foot of the mythical Ketshi. I know in Japanese it's Ketoshi. A cat with a pelt of spun gold whose claws rake in treasure from the very earth. The legend likely has its origins in apocryphal tales of the common Valisthean curl. What with a rich golden gloss of the creature's coat and its distinctive habit of pawing at the ground before striking at its prey. Increases guilt earned by 25%. That's a lot. Braveheart. Oh, man, I could have used this beforehand. <laughs> Taking off this ancient hooked longsword in one's hands invokes strange yet familiar images of four nameless warriors who embark on a perilous journey to save their realm. Hmm. That must be a reference. I'm not sure to what. Another FF, maybe? 130. 130. Yeah, mine's 180 now. But I don't think I would have used it earlier anyway, it just seems like... Yeah, let's let's not use items that are not meant to be for the current kind of progress. Here we go. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby, and I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. No. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. 
Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Can we directly get the Lost Wing from here? Or maybe I can just travel here. Yeah. Right, so we don't even have to be next to an obelisk. We can just use it directly. Perfect. Anybody here know anything about the letter? Or I can talk to Quentin. Hold up, hold up. What are you even looking at? Oh, letter is over here. How's Lost Wing doing? Oh! Hi, Jill. I wasn't aware you were around. Thought we were doing this solo. Back, are ya? Did Master Quentin summon ya? Uh, I'm just- I just came out to visit. The all salted and smoked. At least you'll have the Grimalkins to keep you company. <laughs> Grimalkins? Hey, doggy! No! <gasps> You're so thin! It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. But he's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. The letter was just perfectly laid out on the ground. <laughs> Ugh, a whole day on the line in this. Do they not use magic? They don't use magic. No, they're they're using it right now. She's using her own powers, not a crystal. Jill, have you ever been to Lost Wing? If not, I will take you around right now. To get over there. Quentin, that seems kind of further away. We can cut through. I don't think I need you. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. We're good. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. So it took a tilt between the Wardens of Light and Dark to finally drive the Royalists from our shores. Pity it came at such a price. They say the fields of Bellinus were black a full fortnight with all the ravens. I thought we'll loot one. Didn't they win in their advances? Oh? Drink! Gold, gold tan 870. Brand wine, imperial gold. Meat, panda mane, stone blue, black pudding, smoked kippers, salt loach. Roast hair, chocobo stew, carrot broth. Chocobo stew? Oh, okay. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Well, go check it out. Sure. Can I have another cup, Daddy? There'll be none left for me. <laughs> there better not be alcohol. Uh, how many have I had? <laughs> wait, wait, I don't want to know. At least it seems pretty peaceful here. Sun's setting fast. They'll all be back from the vineyard soon. Then I'd better go and give that stew a stir. There haven't been any surprises since your last visit. But we all know how fast that can change. Yeah, especially since we know that somebody was tailing us again. And things just look like they're waiting to 
blow up, really. That far back. Lambert's Pass. Hold up, we've done this before. Is it this way? No. Do we have to get up on the bridge first? I forget how we did this before. Here. Yep. Okay, now this uh, this one is for looking for Randall. The other one, we already got the letter, so we just gotta go back. Uh, I heard from a couple of the bearers what you did to them royalists over at the care. <laughs> Glad you're on our side. Whose side would I be on? I'm basically you. We're the same thing. Dominance bearers. Although I will comment that I feel like maybe let's make the dominant do more important stuff and not menial labor. <laughs> Jill, help out too. Doing nothing. Oh. The hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beastmen on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Oh dear. Let's hope they're still here. The clearing where we were attacked. <laughs> it's not far from here. Go! We don't have very many good fighters among the bearers, I think. Oh dear. Goblins. Why am I not surprised? That's a lot of dudes. Did you just hit Jill? I swear. Ow! Now you've really done it. Still gonna hit like crazy. Get out of here, dude. Hill Gigas. It's not a regular one, it's a hill one. Jill, get the other one behind us, please. Please, somebody get the goblin over there. It's only one dude left. Oh, wait. Can we get him? Not yet? This one probably won't have any projectiles. Yeah, let's just do this. Jill, do something! Quit walking around. Oh my god, Jill's seriously doing like nothing. <laughs> oh god, let's go. We gotta go. Too slow. Here we go. Get him! Can we get him? Can we please get him? Beautiful. Ability finish.
I didn't see Randall, though. I just saw a bunch of these guys. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. I was bound to not go well one of these days. Yeah, I think we looked through all this previously already. Let's go. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. I'm sorry. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. I don't know if I should be taking any rewards for this. Didn't really feel like that great of a happy ending at all. Sorry again. You'll let me tell Sid what happened, won't you? Okay. Sure. Sounds good. I believe that means we can probably get out of here then, yes? Back to the hideaway then. By the way, do you remember in the Blighted Lands? There was that one gate that we saw. Do you think we can open it now? Maybe I'll go have a look once we're done here. Because it seems like we should have the ability to open doors now because of the flames and all. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. No one's happy. Wanted to send a message. Maybe I should just own it. Oh, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. <sighs> I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter... I got it. Only a little worse for wear. The way they show this to me, it feels like I can just choose to not give it to him. But that's not true. No more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. You're welcome. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keep Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Oh, wow. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Do you think we should go talk to him? He has a daughter. Hmm. But he never mentioned it to us, so I'm not even sure if that's something he would like to talk about. Sid may be the hardest man I know, but when it comes to his daughter, he's soft as chocobo down. You'll be champing at the bit to get this letter. Really now? Should we 
make a brief visit? Is he still in his solar? If he is, I'll go Don't check him me. out. Just taking a quick... Nobody else in the hideaway has a nice room. Just Sid. <laughs> Hi. Honestly, would it kill the girl to write back? No one's buried in another bloody book, no doubt. Hey, your daughter wrote back. <laughs> I can't talk to him about it, though. If everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals was a lie, then what else might we have been deceived about? A lot. In every system, it feels like people are just... The people in power are trying their damnedest to keep their power. And then everyone else flounders and struggles at the bottom. 